a um, quick intro to functions with Carol. Um, so this is a lesson that I've noticed a lot of my students kind of get hung up on um, because we're not going to be doing just command for command to get Carol to move. We're actually going to start mix mixing in some functions, which help make our code uh, more readable and more reusable. Um, in this uh, specific instance, we're going to be working with um, teaching Carol to turn right um, instead of writing turn left three times. Um, so um, you can, for you know, for good practice, start off with uh, with comments. I'm not going to do too many here, um, just for the sake of time. Um, but uh, we want Carol. We want to have Carol go to go to top top of pole. This is like the fireman to top. And then I'll say, and then over and down. All right, sweet. So um, I'm gonna first start this function uh, right here. And with JavaScript, we really have to worry about our syntax here. We want to avoid any type of syntax errors because it will not run. So we wanna make sure that we've written um, it the way it needs to be written, right? With our semicolons, parentheses, curly brackets, all that, and indentation. Um, yours might look different than mine. Mine just has a um, different colored font because I'm in dark mode. Um, but I just went ahead to Quick Docs. I don't know if you remember that, but I went to Quick Docs and copied and pasted from there. Um, sweet. Um, again, this is just um, so we don't have to write turn left three times. Um, it's going to replace that. So the function, ideally in a longer program, is going to let you write less, less code. Um, then we want to move, right? We want Carol to move first and foremost. So if we run this, you'll see that it only gets us to the first spot. We need Carol in our ending world right here. And so we're going to need Carol to do what? Turn left. And now we can have Carol move up. Yikes. How many times do we need to move? We could write a function for these moves as well like a function move up. Um, you can do that if you get bored. So we have Carol at the top of our world, and then we need Carol to do something like turn right, right? This is what we need. Not sure, it's been a while since I've looked at this. Again, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm uh, running my code each time I add new lines or add a new segment. It's sometimes good practice just to troubleshoot um, to run. There's other ways to do it as well. Um, people, there's, there's a, in different terminals and different um, code editors, there's different ways to do it. Um, sweet, now we have Carol to the top, and we can move on down. Goodness. Um, and then we'll move a few more times. Again, we should write a, if you have the time and energy, you should write a function for these three moves in a row as well, and that would take out some code for you as well. Oh, do I need to turn right here? Turn right again. See, it's okay to always make mistakes. If you're feeling discouraged, don't feel discouraged, it's okay. We're working through this together. And then I'll need one more. So here, if we're looking here, we see that instead of having to, oh shoot, is actually turn left. I've inverted these last two turn right to turn left. So here we go. Um, if you see here at this end of this program, um, we've actually um, we have the two turn rights and set the, that replaced the function was able to replace writing turn left three times in a row. Hope that helped clear some things up. Again, um, in an ideal world, uh, functions help make your code more readable and reusable. Um, we replace the right and turn left three times. That's what our function turn right did. And then we had our sequences of moves and turn commands um, that guided Carol through the rest of the world. And we, again, also use turn left by itself. Um, again, if you have time, go back. You can write a function for the moves. You can write a, create a function for turn around. These are things we're going to do in later lessons. Right? So how many times would you need to turn left in order to turn around? Right? Think about that. Um, sweet.